So Google's giving smart glasses another shot after the whole Google Glass thing back in 2013. They showed off a new version at TED 2025, and these look way more like regular glasses, not those big clunky ones from before. Google's upcoming 2025 smart glasses are ditching the old Google Glass look. They'll be super light, use your phone, and have Gemini AI to show color info right on the lenses. Way less bulky and no big camera this time around. Google just launched some pretty cool AI smart glasses. During TED, they translated languages on the fly right in the lenses, like going from Farsi to English. You can also do visual searches just by looking at things, and they've got Gemini AI built in to help with stuff like finding your lost keys. Everyone's buzzing about Google's new AI smart glasses, right? Especially that live language translation feature. Think about how this solves language barriers. You could have subtitles right there in your glasses or get live audio translations while talking to someone who speaks a different language. Pretty cool, huh? People at the TED conference were super impressed saying it could totally change how we communicate. It's way smoother than trying to use a phone or something. We're still waiting on the nitty gritty details like price and when they'll actually be out, but everyone's pretty hyped about it. Is Android XR gonna be Google's big win in the AR space? People are super interested in seeing how they stack up against Apple and Meta's products. Plus, there's a lot of excitement around how Google's AI will make these glasses really easy to use and super effective. They showed off stuff like quick translations, info lookups, and getting around easily. But if these glasses are gonna work, they need to be comfy, last a while on a charge, not cost too much, and have good apps. Google's also gotta be serious about privacy and not being annoying. When you think about Apple and Meta, the big things are what tech they're using, who they're trying to sell to, and what you can really do with them. At the end of the day, the Gemini glasses just need to be useful and easy to use. Okay, so Google's been doing a lot. Let's go over everything they've announced at TED. At TED 2025, Google unveiled its next generation Android XR smart glasses, signaling a significant step beyond a mere prototype. Google's latest smart glasses are a big step up in design from the old Google Glass. They're much slimmer, blend in better, and actually look like normal glasses now. This should make them way more attractive to people, since the originals felt pretty out there. All right, these new smart glasses are way beyond just phone accessories. They're a totally new kind of wearable tech, powered by Google's Gemini AI. It's not just about displaying information. The glasses actually understand what you're seeing and anticipate your needs you get relevant, customized information instead of a notification overload. Basically, these AI glasses translate conversations live and can tell you about landmarks and give you voice reminders from your phone. This seems like a big step forward for smart glasses, turning them into a handy personal helper. Using AI, these smart glasses help you remember things like names, facts, and where you left your keys by looking and listening to what's around you. You can quickly snag info about whatever's around you and get reviews popping up while you're checking stuff out in a store. So, how does Google's Gemini AI make all this possible? Without getting lost in a sea of techno babble, let's decode the core idea. Gemini is what Google calls a multimodal AI. That means it's not just good with text, images, or audio, and it can understand and reason across all of them simultaneously. The glasses have a camera and a microphone, Gemini takes in what you're seeing and hearing, processes it with its vast knowledge and intelligence, and then delivers useful information or actions back to you through tiny displays in the lenses or discrete audio. For translation, it's listening to the foreign language, understanding the meaning, and then translating it into your language in real time. For memory assistance, it's recognizing faces or objects you've encountered before and pulling up relevant stored information almost like an external hard drive for your brain. It's AI working as a true cognitive partner. Now, let's address the glass-sized elephant in the room. Many of you will remember the original Google Glass. Groundbreaking for its time, yes, but it also faced a lot of criticism. Privacy concerns with that always visible camera, the somewhat awkward design, and let's be honest, the glass hole stigma. So why could 2025 be different? Google isn't going into this blind. They've had years to study the pitfalls of early AR. Expect more thoughtful design regarding privacy indicators, more social etiquette considerations, and a focus 
on genuinely useful applications rather than just novelty. AI like Gemini is light years ahead of what was available a decade ago. The ability to provide truly intelligent, contextual, and helpful assistance makes the value proposition for AR glasses much, much stronger now. Other companies like Meta with their Ray-Ban glasses and even Apple with the Vision Pro and their rumored Apple glasses have been warming people up to the idea of wearable tech and head-mounted displays. The world might just be more ready for well-executed AR glasses. Google isn't launching these new glasses into a vacuum. The AR and smart glasses space is heating up and it's becoming a real tech battlefield. Everyone's expecting a sleeker version of Apple glasses down the line. Right now, Apple's pushing a high-end feel, focusing on how it fits into their whole system and its uses for fun or work. And Meta teamed up with Ray-Ban to create these cool, smart glasses that can snap pics, play tunes, and do some AI stuff. But honestly, Meta's really got their eyes on making AR glasses that will let us jump into the metaverse. With these new Google glasses, Google seems to be leveraging its biggest strengths its unparalleled AI capabilities with Gemini, its vast knowledge graph, and services like Google Translate and Maps. Their unique selling point might be offering the most intelligent and seamless AR experience focused on practical, everyday assistance and information access. Plus, they have experience with Android and a huge developer ecosystem. Forget the abstract tech. How could these AI-powered AR glasses actually change your day-to-day -day life? Imagine landing in a foreign country and instantly understanding menus, signs, and conversations thanks to live translation in your vision. What if you could never forget a thing? With Google Glass, that memory assistance feature might be the key. And let's not forget about hands-free how-to cooking a complex recipe or fixing stuff around the house. Imagine step-by-step -step instructions, diagrams, or videos overlaid directly onto what you're looking at, guiding you hands-free. Get this! You visit a museum and get instant information about the exhibits just by looking at them or exploring a new city with historical facts popping up as you walk around. The potential is huge for making information more accessible and our interactions with the world richer and more efficient. But, and this is a big but, Will an always-on camera and microphone on your face lead to privacy issues? Google will need to be crystal clear and incredibly robust in terms of privacy controls, data security, and how it prevents misuse. Will people be comfortable wearing these? Will society be comfortable with people wearing them? Design is key, but so is clear communication about what the glasses are doing. Groundbreaking tech is often expensive. For AR glasses to go mainstream, they need to be affordable and truly useful to a broad audience, not just tech enthusiasts. What will be the reason everyone needs AR glasses? Are you thinking of picking some up? What features jump out at you? And what do you think will be the one thing that makes everyone want a pair? What are your thoughts, predictions, or reactions? Share them in the comments below. Let's chat about the future of augmented reality. And hey, if you want to stay ahead of the curve on all things AI and future tech, make sure you smash that like button, hit subscribe to Norris AI Decoded, and ring that notification bell. Thanks for watching. It seems like we're moving towards an augmented future. See you next time.